Alright, do all my aquarium box unboxing here. Uh, I just a little update on this. Got a couple of baby rainbows in there. Um, and the aquaponic system over here. These are avocados. Here, there's another one back here. I have uh, quite a few different seeds in there. Um, now they got more intense light, I need to actually plant some more stuff. Uh, there's mango trees in the back. Uh, these are grapevines. I think they're doing a little uh, nutrient deficient there. I need to get them in some soil. And I'm thinking about making little soil balls or something like that to put in the system and put the roots in them. And then hopefully I can still use them in the flood and drain for a while until I can get them outside. Now, this is my first avocado I actually had that planted. Um, I did lose a couple crawdads. Uh, they ate them. <laughs> a couple of the bigger ones killed. A couple of them, uh, one time, the first one happened while I was gone for a little over a week. I had my mom come over and feeding them about every other day. I don't think they were getting enough food. And then when I came back, they killed, oh, that one was dead, and then killed the second one towards the end of it. But I did put some air stones. There's one back there. I got that one up there. I need to actually drop it down a little bit lower. I'm thinking about putting a, a shelf in here today about this high to give them a little bit more room. Hopefully they will stop doing that, but I think it was just from not enough feed. So, and, uh, there's one of our betas. Little assassins humping. <laughs> oh. Quick shot of our other beta and our five gallon flugel. Here's one of the rocks we got in my aquarium box. And this week's plunder. So we got some Ken's fish food here, which is great. I love getting that stuff because I feed my crawdads pretty heavy. Um, get some mini wafers here. My clown loaches love those, so that's always good. Omega One photo contest. Enter to win. Too bad my tanks aren't really nice enough. Otherwise, I would enter that. But um, we get some air fittings, which is great because I have uh, my new air stones and stuff, and I put air into my community tank too. I just used a air line and poked holes in it and stuff. Then we have. Nice little hiding spot for plecos and stuff. I'm not sure which tank I'm going to put this in. I might put this in my community tank. Because uh, I have quite a few hiding spaces in my crawdad tank. Um, we have some wood here. Cola? Chola wood? I don't know how you say it exactly. It's pretty neat. I've seen this stuff before. It's kind of hollow on the inside there. You can kind of see through it. And it's got holes all on the side. They go to the middle. This is pretty neat stuff. I kind of like this. Uh, I would actually like to get a big chunk of that stuff. But I came with uh, what, five pieces here. I have this garlic guard. Uh, you mix it in with your fish food. You kind of soak it a little bit. It helps scent it. And I, I believe it has some medical properties. Um, I know garlic's healthy for a lot of fish. So but that's what we got this month. Uh, I did miss last month's. I forgot to upload it and then I ended up accidentally deleting it off my phone. So there was one month missing. Damn it. But that's it.